Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Man. The wind is like nothing right now too. These days, if I'm going backpacking and it's a multi-day, multi-person expedition, that last part's kind of important, then this is one of my most frequently carried and favorite cook sets. That is the GSI Outdoors Catalyst cook set. And for you TMPers, that is subscribers to the Nut and Fancy Project, it should look kind of familiar. That's because it's been in testing for, yeah, an incredible two plus years. What? I know, crazy. I think, not positive, the first expedition this Catalyst went on, here in TMP at least, was the Sub-Zero snowshoeing expedition. Frigid temperatures, and I pretty much fell in love with it then for its weight, its size, and its capabilities. I'll get into that briefly here in just a second. First, a little bit of philosophy, you knew it was coming, on where I am with my approach to cooking in a backpacking man portable system. That's very important. We're not talking about jumping out of the 4x4 off the ATV, cooking in the back of our cabin on the back porch. We're talking about stuff we have to haul in with our own muscles. Sometimes those expeditions are up to 10 miles in length one way. So I have to look very carefully at the weight and see if it's functional enough in the system to have it carried along. If you were to go back to my system to the 1980s, for instance, and look in my pack for my extended stay backpacking stuff, you would probably have found frying pans being carried up into those high mountain lakes. I, and I'm not going to say I, I won't do that in the future. I, I probably will. But it has to be a a really serious fishing expedition and I'll look very carefully that at the weight. So I forget funny. what brand of frying pan this is. It is it's pretty good. It does the handle doesn't lock worth the crap. It's always folding, but it is lightweight. It's not super thick aluminum, Teflon coated, open country. There's the brand right there. I've used it and sometimes it'll come along. But for cooking fish, maybe wild game that you secure, I should say I secure, I'll either pan fry it, bring that along, or like you've seen on camera, again going back, to, I believe to the Sub-Zero Adventure and other subsequent ones, I use this grill I bought back in 1984, taking the bag off it because it's always soot covered. Still works great. No, it's not lightweight. It's very heavy. I think it's like 12 ounces or something insane like that. But again, it goes back to a multi-person trip where its weight is, I don't know, justified. And yeah, I'll usually have the other dude carry it. <laughs> hey dude, can you carry the grill? Yeah. What? That thing's heavy. I know. But when we have it up there, it rocks. So really, I like cooking fish this way. Just grilling it. Burgers, chicken like we did in Sub-Zero. These days, though, it's rare that either one of those cooking utensils comes along. Usually, it's going to be this or something like this, I'm talking about a way to heat up water primarily. Remember at the outset I said a multi-person expedition. If I'm just going alone with Dognus and myself, this is what I've used in the past and have used a lot. I just lost my last one, don't know where it is, so I had to reorder this one. This is a Snow Peak Trek 700 Titanium Solo Cup. You can see it has a lid that comes with it. It's somewhere, I don't know, in my stuff. It has an interesting nesting philosophy. If you use one of their 110, I guess their Gigapower 110 fuel canisters, it'll fit in there. With one of their stoves, the spoon will go in. Okay, that's cool. This is actually a great solo way to heat up water. And by the way, I know, hey dude, I just use a, you know, a canteen cup. That works great for me. <clears throat> Not for me, it's just too heavy. I did in the 80s, I use that all the time, but it's too big, uh, I can't put a lid on it easily. Uh, this by itself, where's that, the specification sheet, 3.3 ounces is what this weighs. With the lid and the carry sack, total carry weight is 4.8 ounces for this titanium Trek 700. That's a great option in a solo trip. The reason I don't like it for a multi-person trip is because it's just too much work and TCE comes into play. I'm filling it up, I'm heating, I'm filling it up, I'm heating, and it's just too much work. Enter the catalyst. Now, it's not the lightest thing out there either. 
Um, I removed, by the way, the steel bale that comes with it, and I just used my Leatherman to manipulate it around on the stove. It saves, I don't know, three quarters of an ounce by pitching it. You can reattach it if you want. See, it pops on and off. It's made out of the same material this is. Kind of thick gauge steel. But the weight on this alone, 5.8 ounces. Look at the size though. Nice, flat bottom. Superior to that titanium cup. Which one do you think is going to tip over first? Which one do you think is going to conduct heat better? This actually does pretty good. But this one does outstandingly. It's made of a a material that GSI calls how you light to me it looks like an aluminum alloy that's anodized just like a lot of kitchen frying pans I don't think it's anything special it is light it is stain resistant you can see after many trips how it looks a little bit beat up used but it still looks pretty great nice and stable conductive to heat I love that and then look at the space inside for this 5.8 ounce kettle I've used this as a frying pan. If I can fit it in there, I'll fry it. No problems, including fish, bacon, whatever. If it fits, I'll fry it. Canned corn, yeah. Just like I carried up on Sub-Zero, that was insane. It'll steam it up perfectly. Mostly though, I heat up water for hot liquids and like you saw a little bit ago, a freeze-dried meal. That's actually pretty good, the Mountain House beef stew. You put some hot sauce in it, man. Yeah, it'll work. Not the best stuff in the world. So it's adequately large and for a multi-person trip it saves me time. So I can heat up an entire liter of water, put the lid on it so it is more efficient in heating it up so it comes to a boil quicker. It keeps out debris, bugs, you know, fire, um, what am I trying to say, fireplace debris, falling ashes so it keeps your water clean and it keeps it hotter longer. A lid is almost indispensable, especially on cold weather trips, I find. If you don't do it, the water's going to cool off very quickly. That's a pretty good sized pot for a multi-person trip, but you get more with it. It is a cook set, and it comes with this nested bowl set, which at first I was like, ah, I think I'm just going to pitch that and not use it. Actually, I find myself using it. There's two bowls that come with it with a tight-fitting lid. There again is the lid concept. Keeps out bugs, debris, keeps your oatmeal clean and warm. The inside bowl, another nice little touch, actually has an insulated sleeve on it. So when you snap that lid on it, it stays pretty warm. And it's perfectly sized for soup, beans, oatmeal. And let me see, the bowl and spork set, all these three, three things together, 3.8 ounces. I think GSI calls this a foon. <laughs> The name Spork, taken already, no doubt. I don't use this. I just keep it with a cook set so I don't forget it. I use that nylon cookware that I showed you in my extended stay backpacking videos. And then you have a bigger bowl here. The cool thing about this is it's not just a bowl. It can be your drinking cup. So if you do include the Spork, it's pretty much an, an entire cook set, right? So you can mix up drinks in here, drink out of this, even hot chocolate, coffee, whatever you want. Is it ideal? No, it's not but it's compact and you'll have it with you and I haven't really found any bowls that are much lighter than this and look how that nests it's pretty compact let me put that foon call it a spork, foon whatever, back in there you go and there's actually some more room inside so if you want to put something else that will fit in there medicines, toiletries, ammunition, rimfire, do it and here's your carry sack for it Total up weight is 10.4 ounces for the Kettleist. 10.8 ounces. Durability is outstanding. I see no flaws whatsoever. I don't see any chipping, cracking, peeling, or scratching for that matter of the anodization on it. It's perfect. For about $33 is what the GSI Outdoors Kettleist cook set will run you. I think that's great value. But nothing fancy, I like cooking out of a peach can. Rock on, cook out of a peach can. But I've kind of traveled that road. I'm always changing, always learning, but I don't really think I'm going to deviate from this system anytime soon. The only way that it could really be improved is it's lighter. So if total carry weight was like five ounces, that would be better. But when you get into the titanium cookware, kind of like this, expensive. I don't think this is cheap. I think, I, I forget the price on this. I'll annotate it, but not cheap. So titanium these days with current technology is the only way you're the only way you're going to light it up and to me it's just not cost effective 
that's the Nut Fancy review on a favorite cook set. Good job, GSI. Out.